Well, Connor, what a win that was. What was it like to be a part of? Yeah, I thought we were top draw. I thought even when they'll say they'll probably say their man down changes the game, but I think even with eleven men on the pitch, I thought we were excellent. We go one 0 up. Um, we never really felt. Even we conceded a lot of possession in the second half. Um, maybe we probably could have got after it a bit more, but we were we were really solid. We thought didn't never felt at trouble like we were going to concede and. Um, yeah, their goal's a bit of a mad one, but I think we've shown great resilience to great resilience to see the game out. The manager clearly had a game plan. You all knew your jobs so well, and particularly in that first half, you just took the chances when they came, and you didn't mind not having the ball. Yeah, exactly. We've got players who can hurt teams, so if we can keep the back door shut, um, like you feed today, we can we can catch teams on the break, and that's what we did. And yeah, we've got players. Like Aaron Collins, John Marquis, who can you know, to go along with many of us who can hurt teams. So, yeah, um, we go ahead, and then Anthony, great finish to put us two up. And then it was just about seeing the game out from then on. Like you say, I'm sure people will talk about the sending off, but the way the sending off happened, it's because Aaron Collins was stronger and was able to get forward. But also, you had the more clear-cut chances before the sending off. Yeah, exactly. That's the main message was to be solid and when we get a chance to take it and, and we did that. In terms of personally, are you enjoying that role in the middle of a three? Yeah, I love it. It suits me wherever the manager wants me to play. I do enjoy playing in the middle of three. Um, but like wherever the manager wants me to play, I'm happy to do. And in terms of the late rally from Bolton, is that almost make the three points that a little bit sweeter? I think no matter how we did it, um, three points was going to be as big, no matter how. And... Um, yeah, the main objective in that second half was to just get the three points. We'd like to clean sheet, but then again, we've we've conceded and we could have gone under um, with the amount of pressure that was put on put on us towards the end. But, but like I just said before, we showed great resilience. And do you feel like you're improving every game un- under the new manager? He's obviously not been in long, but it's like it's starting to click. Yeah, obviously it's hard for a new manager coming in with such a he- hectic schedule. Um, to get his message across and he's just been drip feeding stuff in and I think you're starting to see his message. And we should talk about the fans behind that goal where you scored the two goals and obviously you conceded the one as, as well. How helpful were they to get you over the line? Yeah, they were massive, like they are everywhere we go. They always travel in the numbers. You can hear them all game and they, they get you over the line. But yeah, really delighted to get them, to send them home. Long journey back to Bristol with three points. And in terms of, of Matt Taylor, are you enjoying working under him? Yeah, definitely. He's been he's been brilliant since since he's come in, and um, yeah, looking forward to building that relationship more. Really well done today. Thank you, Connor. You just come back from your injury a couple of weeks ago. How much of a kind of stop start has that been over the last month or so? Um, it wasn't really too much of a hindrance because obviously the international breaks. I didn't. Mm-hmm. I only missed a couple of games. I think it was, but. Like I say injuries are part and parcel of football. You've, you've got to be ready when you come back to get back in the action. And another close um, attempt to a goal. Do you feel it's coming soon? Yeah, I'll well, certainly do one. So uh, <laughs> hopefully I can put one in the net soon. Nice one, mate. Thank you. Thank you.